hi friends what's this form so if i submit this form it shows me because i have not filled any detail it shows me what are all the things i missed if i'll go on clicking or uh, or satisfying one or one by requirement it will reduce me then show me what i only i have missed you can see three things i have satisfied so i have entered so it is uh, now if i'll select one class also and submit it it will tell you you are not entered the name only so i can fill it and submit now here we are not using any client side library like jquery or ajax or anything we are only using php the form is refreshing or submitting to this particular page itself all the data and we are handling what happens if the all the data are uh, filled up so i am just fulfilling all the requirements now again i am submitting in that case it will allow the form to submit and all the data is collected here you can see this this is entirely written in php without using the any client library you can scroll down read all this how this script works everything and come to the last part of here you can copy this code this is the the form part with the all the php code it is copied and paste it in your editor let me select it yes paste it in your and there are two parts of it one is the second part is where the data is received this is just a post method and we are receiving you can copy that also and put it in the second page where you are receiving this fine now our script is ready what you will do is in the main is the, this particular form we will remove all the php codes we will start from the fresh blank html form only and add the php code to this we will learn that after copying the code your form will look like this this is very simple but uh, simple form but it is not looking like the one who, what you have tested because all the styles and layouts all we are removed kept it simple so here also we can test it now the php code is still there i can fill details and something i can miss also let's see the error message comes here it asks me two things i missed okay i let me fill it up this thing and some more details here now i submit it this is the what i got it this is the data whatever i submitted it has collected so now we'll from this form we'll remove the php part and add it again so you can understand it this is our simple html form inside the php area we used an echo command to just to uh, show the output of html there is no php code directly involved in this so you can see that uh, this within this php code uh, echo command we have this form and we will add the code to this first was this particular form uh, attribute here you can see that the action attribute is blank or it will submit to itself or you can give the file name also if you are giving a file name then see that it's the this particular file and uh, you can see this is a post method what's this hidden tag this is the one important this is we have used a hidden tag because this value whatever value we assigned it as post data is only available once the user submits the form because it's a part of the form that we will check the reason is suppose you moment you open the form the validation part of this uh, particular page is need not be executed so what we will do we will write a if command so if now this is a post method so we will say post now to do is the name of that equal to because to it is to match with see where value we have written as post data so we will say it here post data if this is equal to this then you do the validation i am just writing it uh, commenting it here end of if value for to do is available so this is this is how we will prevent the because unless you don't want the code to execute when it is there is form is not submitted so inside this what you will do first will let us collect the uh, our uh, collect the all the form component data what the user has entered we'll go start with the easy one see here f name so i am writing it here f name i'm giving the same variable name the value i'll collect it is the the value i'll collect is post f name so this way i can read the value here so like that i can go ahead and select it what happened what i will do is i can 
F name, then uh, probably I will be going for the radio buttons. Okay, it's a select one. Select one is my class. So I will go for my class here. Now we'll do a small check here uh, how the script is working. Here you can see that I am capturing the name of the F name or the whatever the user has entered. Now I will just go there, put that value here, the attribute value attribute here. It is at the top. You can see F name class form control. Now here I will say value equal to I am giving the variable name F name. Let me just or I will bring this to to here form class this form control I can remove it. it is no more required here so f name I am giving so this particular value is will hold it now this is the technique we will be using for others I am just saving this save this particular one and going to my browser this is the let me just refresh it once fine I am if I will submit nothing will happen because I am not written the PHP code is removed so I can just submit it nothing will happen now let me just type the name here something I am writing now once I submit this this should hold yes this is holding now but whereas here it will not hold because uh, once I submit this this value will vanish but this will vanish because now we are capturing and putting giving the value attribute the same variable so that is the reason it is holding the value now this will continue further we'll collect the all the data as whatever the user has entered so class f name is over now another is gender so gender same thing will post method this is the one of the radio buttons what we are offering to the user to select so gender is over now we'll say thompson conditions all this that is agree agree equal to now say post agree so this is the checkbox status then we'll go for details details is the text area whatever we have uh, kept for the writing all the details so details fine so this is how we'll collect five areas and before that let's just uh, put keep some flags so our that is our main this thing let's say status equal to we'll make it okay so this flag will be monitoring whether the validation is cleared or not and one more is a blank message box so here will be storing now let me just flag for validation this flag will change it to not okay or like that whenever the validation fails now this part is over for us now let's start the validation part now the first uh, validation will start is our text box so we'll say if str length this is check the length of the uh, data entered in the as a name f name that is the first name whatever you have used is less than three we expect that to be minimum three you can change the parameters whatever way you want if that is the case what happens then that means data is not entered so we'll say status equal to will say not okay and the message will add up we will have to tell specifically what it is so let's just scroll bit of fine message equal to uh, we are selling uh, enter name or whatever better message you can give you can give that so that this is a must for us so now what you will do Mm, this this fine this gives us the name now we can move further but before that let's complete the messaging part so anywhere the our validation fails like that we'll go on adding the validations and we'll say if status status is not equal to okay means anywhere it is the flag has changed then in that case we'll say echo we are just giving the message only fine you can just add a font also if you want in red color this should come so we'll say font color equal to red or anything 
other than this you can give bold italic whatever you want so the stat here it is uh, we are reading this uh, uh, f name we are checking and if it is not okay status is not equal to okay then we are displaying it if it is okay what you will do we'll do it later now let's check this part once so i just saved it will coming here let's just uh, refresh it once i have not entered anything submit it enter name has come so this is the uh, because i have not so let me just enter something here a b c d e okay if some i have exceeded the three length requirement fine it and it is holding now the same process will continue so let's go there again drop down list box will try if str len length of variable my class my class is the selection of drop down list for class 1 2 3 whatever drop down we have given is less than 1 means user has not selected anything in that case what you will do will copy this part and paste it here because this shows that but will change the message part select select one class we are asking the user to select suppose what happens if he has already selected one then else now here we must hold the selected that uh, so what is the selected option of the user so we'll use one switch statement switch now the value will take it in the uh, inside is my class now inside the switch we are we'll put it here we'll just scroll up fine this is the else means user has not selected any of the class eh, sorry it has selected and we are holding that value now so it is one so if it is selected one then three variables will be using because there are three options for, for us s1 will say equal to selected now let me just write it here s2 is blank why i am doing this you will understand shortly s3 equal to blank again now let me close this now after this break if it is once our user has selected one the first option then these three you do that's what we are telling now let's copy this paste it here so if the user has selected two in this case what we will do we will ask s1 will keep it as blank first option sorry will blank here we will say selected and rest are same now here again if it has selected three then what you did is this s1 again you will keep the it blank and the third variable will keep it selected now this now the variables are set what we will do we'll scroll down yeah you see here the thing actually at this particular point the variable values should have so s1 now here we'll write s2 and sorry 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 so not here here we'll not write anything this is the blank one so this will be s1 the first one now here it will be s2 and here it will be s three so what will happen now you can understand it easily because now what you are doing based on what the user has selected we are making one of these three variables as selected so if for second one is selected then this s2 will hold the value selected the other two will be blank so let's save this and check once so let me just refresh it i am what i am doing is i am uh, selecting two now let's submit this enter name because name i have not entered but see the thing that it is holding at two now i'll go to three submit it now it is thing now let me just uh, leave it blank select a class now let me just submit it you will say enter name and select one class okay we, we, we can give a comma or a line break here so that will do now we'll move next to uh, another one that is gender so let's come back here go to our validation area fine here the message is here select one class here let's 
at the end maybe at the beginning we'll let's give one comma you can give a line break also if you want okay fine now let's come to this is the area where our switch ends and st uh, else part fine here we'll comment this also end of select box or off sound drop down box so this part is over now what we'll do we'll go to go check for the radio button so you will say that radio button is one of the option also the same technique will use it also here if now i'll say str len gender gender is what the user has selected male female and others so we know it's minimum so it should be oh, i am telling if it is less than 2 that means no selection is taken place we'll say again the here the validation will be coming so we'll just copy this part now bring it here put it here fine so select one select gender because that is a specific message we want to give so select gender now if he has selected else i am just giving a else here here also we'll do a switch switch now we'll say again gender mm -hmm. now before we'll see this also will end of gender checking because we'll miss which if which closing brackets and all so let's scroll up a bit fine now here inside switch we are so inside switch first we'll say mm, case if it is case is first is will say equal to male you have to take care of the exact character uppercase or lowercase now we'll again we'll set the variables r1 equal to here it is checked checked comma now we'll say r2 equal to blank now mm, r3 radio button 3 equal to blank again we'll close this then break fine so this is for the mail we'll do the same thing we'll copy sorry we'll do the same thing copy it now i'll paste it so this is for my next is female so female for that first one should not be checked second one should be checked fine now let me come back put it put it here this is is my other so other i will keep this i will not check it first one will be blank third one will be checked fine so now all the radio buttons are ready and the message is also there now let me just come to my radio button area so input type radio name gender male so here i will put r1 that means r1 will be in checked condition whatever it is the variable will get that value uh, r2 now here i am selling r3 now let's save this and go again see how this works i am just refreshing it i have not selected anything so submitting now select class select gender okay i'll select a suppose i am selected female now i am submitting it it has gone and the value is holding also now suppose i'll change it to male submit it and the value is holding now along with others i will see two suppose i have selected now i will go yeah so this is how we'll hold these two now next we'll move to the our text area text area variable name is uh, details we'll uh, go here end of gender now text area so you can just write it here fine okay we'll start with if now we'll say um, text area is uh, again it is details so we'll say str len so str len inside this details details is less than 3 change the value if you want so if that is the case then what level here i will make it end of text area checking fine so here 
actually this code is uh, getting bigger and bigger okay it, it will take few uh, more minutes actually i am coding it because that way you can understand it better so continuing like this instead of just pasting and explaining this way you can understand it better i am just pasting it here enter details fine it will come here as enter detail and the flag is set now here what i will if st details the, now what happens here there is no holding or anything you can just write it there and this details value will take it to our text area what is this here so here we'll say details so it will hold that's all so this is how the text area will work now we know that will work we will check it along with the checkbox so let's now come to we left with one more only uh, and our value to, to do is okay here we'll write the uh, sorry it's not here end of details is here so after this will come so we'll go for now checkbox because that agree button has to be collected so if now we'll say agree once it is selected the value will be equal to yes or you can change it any to anything now i am we are in the inside the agree button now here we have to again use the if it is not selected then what we will say is this uh, if it is agree is okay sorry we are we are in this this here will not paste it what we will do we'll cut it here else now here we'll put it first and we'll create a variable now what you will say ckb is equal to checked fine you probably you must have understood now why i am doing this copied it and here i will paste it and say it i will keep it blank so ckb is not so one of the thing it will definitely tell and this message i will change Mm, say you write anything must agree to condition or you write it click the checkbox okay whatever message you want to give now that is fine so one of the thing will be if the checkbox is checked then ckb value will be checked otherwise it is uh, it will be blank so what you will do will just write the variable name here input type value yes here i will put ckb now that that means that the value is checked if it is checked then it will ckb will hold the value checked so let's go now just i am uh, refreshing it we have all the all the data ready so now let's just put it there so one two three four five all the five fields conditions are telling enter a name now this details will first take details here so this must hold now let's save this okay must agree to condition because i have not checked it i now i am checking this so this must value values and holding now if i uncheck this and submit it you must agree to that so again it is coming now let me other things anyway we have checked it let's just do once now selection is female so everything we have done now let's submit fine it is holding everything but it's not doing nothing because that part we have not called it what it will do when validation is cleared or all inputs are satisfied that will uh, that part will work now now we'll uh, submit the form if validation is cleared so we'll come to the last part this should be below the form what you display because our uh, uh, dom should be created before so we cannot keep it outside so if you are validation can be at the top poor area but the now let's come down and <clears throat> come to the end of the html part because after displaying the form only we should write this i'm just moving up a bit fine now here you'll say if status equal to okay means there is the all the validation checkings are over now what i should do i should write the command to submit the form now i will say script sorry sorry script so let me just continue with this now better i should leave some more space okay so echo script here now after this 
I will say form one. Form one is the name of the form we have already given at the attribute. If you want to see, it is uh, yeah. You see here, name is form one. We have described it here. So that I am explaining. Or you can use ID also. So form one action equal to now. This is the file where it will be submitting PHP. You can give a your own name. PHP stick. Key form ck dot php. This is the file which I have already created and kept it. Sorry, it not. Uh, it is there. I uh, will see the code. That's the code you can copy it also. So this is where now again form one dot method method equal to now let's say post. Fine. Now mm, let's okay. We can give this inside also. Now form one dot submit now the form will be submitted and we'll end our script tag here so that should uh, okay it is there closing so now this is what you are doing now you are telling the submit to this particular page and method is post and submit it but this will be executed if and only status equal to okay means validation is cleared I am just saving it. Now let's just go to the where it is submitted. I, we have just copied the code, whatever we have just collected it and printing the same against the whatever name we have used against that we are submitting it. So there is uh, this code you can also copy it. Now saving it, going to here. Now let me just refresh it once. Now let me add something A, B, C, D, E. I am fulfilling all the length requirement. So two. Now let me just give the female. Now let me type something. But okay, let's keep this one one balance and see. Okay, you must agree to the condition. I am checking this. Now let me submit. You can see this is form it has received the our receiving page and all the values whatever we have selected they are collected and display i can go back also and fill again so this is how a sticky form works if you have any doubt or clarification put it in the comment and uh, we'll try to explore further